Hey everybody, welcome to Clough Talk today. I'm Josh, this is Jamie, and we're coming to you from our sanctuary. You can see the newly painted wall. Thank you to everybody uh, who helped out and get that done this weekend. Definitely freshens up the space a little bit. And so we're excited about some of the changes that God has uh, really been doing here at Clough. And this is just a symbol of what he's been doing. Yeah, you're right. It looks great. And we had a great worship service this Sunday. Um, you know, you preached uh, just on Romans 6. Uh, mm -hmm. Why don't you recap what you did and tell us where you're going. It, it was such an exciting sermon to, to be preaching on because Paul paints the picture of baptism that we would remember what Christ has done for us uh, so that he would, it was just kind of as an example or, or a remembrance that we will be able to overcome the sin and the struggles that we go through on a daily basis. And, and so I really just gave some practical ways that we can overcome sin in our life. Um, uh, my personal favorite and maybe the one that's the hardest is that when there's sin in my life, um, I don't want to be around other Christians. Like, that's just the truth. Um, you know, I, I feel like I know God sees uh, the, the yuck, the sin in my life. And, um, and so I don't feel worthy of sometimes being around the body of Christ. And yet, that's exactly what the Bible tells us we're supposed to do. We need to run to uh, community, not run away from it. And so that was one of the, the simple points that we made is that, you know, if you're struggling, um, if there's something going on, whether it's sin or just trials that you're going through, what the Bible exhorts us to do is to run to community and not run away from it. And so that was one of the points we covered. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it was a great sermon. If you guys haven't heard it, go online to our website. It's up there. And uh, why don't you tell us where we're heading? And then, um, yeah. and then I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming excitement of a business. Tons meeting. of exciting <laughs> things really coming cool. up, but, but really quickly for this Sunday, uh, we're still in Romans chapter six. And at the beginning of Romans chapter six, it says that we are dead to sin. Um, and so we're supposed to have victory over sin, that it doesn't have power over us. And then the second half really talks about being alive to God. Um, one of the verses that has just stood out to me, it says, for when you are slaves of sin, you are not in regard to righteousness or you're not free in regard to righteousness that God has freed us that we might live for him. And so we're going to take the other side of the coin this Sunday and talk about how we are freed as believers to live for the glory of God. And so I'm really looking forward to it. You're not going to want to miss it because I believe this is exactly who God is calling us to be through his word and who he's calling us to be as a church family, freed to grow in him, uh, freed to be on mission for him, free to serve him. And these are all great things. And so I think it's going to be a really encouraging Sunday uh, from that standpoint. Yeah, we got some exciting stuff coming up, including this Sunday, but most importantly, I would say, yeah, I'm excited about December 2nd. We're going to have our annual business meeting, mm -hmm. and I know it sounds boring, but trust me, it's not. It's going to be amazing. I've started calling it Celebration Sunday because I really feel like that highlights what it is as opposed to just a business meeting. It's, it's celebrating what God has done, and there's some big things. Absolutely. One of the biggest things that we're doing that personally impacts me <laughs> is we are cutting the ribbon, mm -hmm. uh, a literal ribbon we're going to cut for the youth building. It is uh, this close to being done. And by December 2nd, it's going to have everything in there. It's going to be ready to rock and roll. And we're excited about that. What else are we celebrating? Well, and if that's not a big enough reason, and I think it is, we're also going to do our note burning ceremony on that Sunday. And so uh, you're going to want to be there for that. And just to really enjoy the Sunday all the more, I, I believe we're getting some cake uh, because what's the celebration without cake? You're going to want to be here. Don't miss it. God is doing great things at Clough. And, um, and we have some exci other exciting news we want to share with you guys. So please be here December 2nd uh, during the Sunday school hour and then during the worship hour. It's really an all-day celebration that you're going to want to be a part of. Yeah, those are big wins, and we're excited for that. We're excited for this Sunday, and we'll see you there. Have a great week, Clough Pike.